Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the start of a journey where we'll learn and grow together, exploring the intriguing world of cryptocurrencies and Islamic coin. I know it may seem daunting if you're stepping into this world for the very first time, but rest assured this course is crafted, keeping in mind beginners like you. Every question is welcome on our social media channels, so feel free to get in touch with any one of us. Together, we'll delve into the heart of traditional financial systems to understand their complexities and why we might need a transformation. From there, we'll step into the world of cryptocurrencies, understanding their value and potential to reshape our economic systems. And the most exciting part, we're going to see how these concepts align with our Islamic principles. We'll discover what makes a digital currency Sharia compliant and how Islamic finance scholars perceive this technology. Along this journey, we'll ensure we create the environment that is welcoming, enriching, and also encouraging. After all, our Islamic traditions teach us the importance of seeking knowledge, understanding, and then sharing it with others. So my friends, I hope you're as excited as I am to begin this journey. See you in lesson 1.1, which is understanding the complexities of money. Assalamu alaikum. As we begin this journey to understand the world of cryptocurrencies, it's essential to start with the basics. Today, we'll explore a topic that is deeply rooted in our daily lives, yet often taken for granted, which is money. Understanding the complexities and limitations of traditional currency systems will lay a strong foundation as we venture into the realm of digital currencies. Money and this traditional form is more complex than it seems, and each note and coin in your pocket represents a promise by the issuing authority, which usually is a central bank to provide value equivalent to the amount stated on the note or the coin. This system is known as the fiat money, is established by government regulation or law. And did you know that the word fiat is Latin and can be translated to a formal authorization or proposition, a decree, meaning that fiat money is created into existence through authority. The most shocking fact about fiat money, inflation. Central banks can print more money at will which will ultimately lead to a decrease in purchasing power. For example, look at the US dollar, which has lost 96% of its purchasing power over the last 100 years. But hang on, it can even get worse. The Venezuelan Bolivar needed only 20 years to witness a similar erode. Inflation can actually grip different currencies at varying paces. And not to forget the Turkish Lira that lost over 80% of its value over the last five years. This has real world consequences. Transitioning from the inflation concern, we find our conventional financial systems a bit out of step with the world's interconnected reality. In simpler terms, transferring money across borders, so-called remittances, can be an expensive and time-consuming affair. Banks and money transfer services charge a substantial fee and processing times can be over several days. To understand the significance of these remittances, let's look at some numbers. This year, people around the world will be sending almost $800 billion back to their home countries. This is equivalent to the GDP of Saudi Arabia or Turkey. It's used for food, education, healthcare, and so much more. It's not just spare change. It's a lifeline for millions of families around the world. These remittances are not just important for families. They're crucial for whole economies. In 2022, 27 countries relied on these money transfers for 10% or even more for their entire GDP. And in seven countries, a quarter of their entire economy was powered by remittances. And here's the problem with sending money across borders. The global average cost of sending remittances is quite high. On average, a staggering 6.5% of the amount sent. This means that a significant slice of this money, which could be used for necessities back home, is actually lost in transaction fees. These cross-border hurdles not only affect the global economy, but touch individual lives and communities. This means that the need for a more streamlined, cost-effective and quick money transfer solution is pressing. And as if inflation and cross-border hindrances were not enough, millions of people worldwide are unbanked, meaning they lack access to traditional banking services. Out of the estimated 1.4 billion people in total, an astonishing 800 million Muslim brothers and sisters are unbanked globally. Let's look at Indonesia, a country with an 86% Muslim population, an estimated 51% of that population, which adds up to 130 million people, are unbanked. And by that, 
do not have access to financial services. Another example we can look at is Pakistan. Pakistan houses 2.8% of the world's population, but only 8% of the world's unbanked adults. Only 20% of adults in Pakistan have access to financial services. A staggering 100 million people in Pakistan are completely unbanked. Or let's even look at Morocco. In 2021, 56% of men held accounts, 33% of women did, leaving 15 million Moroccan adults unbanked. This lack of access doesn't just affect individuals, it deepens socio-economic inequalities, holding back entire communities and regions. The issues we face with the current monetary system underscore the need for financial transformation, one that is truly inclusive and ensures no one is left behind. And it is here that the evolution of digital currency comes into play, not just as an innovative concept, but as a vital tool in our increasingly interconnected world. The time for change is now. The shortcomings of traditional currencies and financial systems have highlighted the need for a transformation, a shift towards a system that is efficient, secure, inclusive and equitable. In the next lesson, we'll explore an innovative solution that addresses many of these concerns, cryptocurrencies. As we'll discover, the evolution of money has not stepped at banknotes and coins. A new chapter is being written as we speak where technology meets finance, leading to exciting possibilities for reshaping our economies and societies. As we end this session, we hope you have a deeper understanding of the complexities of traditional money, its limitations, and the urgent need for a more efficient, secure, and inclusive system. See you inside the next lesson, The Evolution of Cryptocurrencies.